to me. Everybody know who that is? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Who said Richard. Little Richard? There you go. Little Richard's the most important guy in rock and roll. Okay, he is the father of this whole thing, right? All right, so my statement is simple. There has to be an absolute knowing of who you are as a professional. Your fate is decided in less than 20 seconds, and there's never an exception to this rule. Okay, you got 20 seconds. So when somebody comes into a room, the second you walk into the room, who's ever on the other side of the conversation is running data on you. Okay, they're just running data on you. So we have a student at the store who's a voice teacher at her university said, you're such an amazing singer, um, you, need to, you need to try out for the voice. So she texted me and she said, I'm, I'm nervous, I don't know what to do. So we kind of talked a little bit through the whole thing and then she said, well, I know I have a minute and a half. I said, now you don't have a minute and a half, you got 20 seconds. And she said, no, 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 they give you a minute and a half. I said, they give you a minute and a half, you've got 20 seconds, they'll decide in six. That is how the industry works. If that makes you uncomfortable, then you might want to think about the marketing aspect or something like that, but do not think about performance, because performance is a judgment game, and you cannot miss the target. You have to hit it every time, just like an NFL quarterback. Okay? That's just a fact. 20-second rule. All right, taking care of business. Dr. Fisher is the uh, president of Belmont University, and on the book I'm working on, he has contributed an interview. So my question to him was, what qualities do you believe the music leaders of tomorrow need to understand and must possess to be successful? So Fisher's answer was, I think the music leaders of the future will have to be more entrepreneurial than in the past. That is a fact. The structure of the industry has changed so radically that the leaders are going to be the ones with vision and who embrace change. They will also have to be more patient and take a long-term view of the industry. So here's the deal. The big record companies are gone. They're gone. So it's down to us now. The good news is there's social media and everybody's talking about it in 27 seconds. It's like you post something, it's like, yeah, man, I got a hit on it. It's good. It's moving. The only problem is everybody's doing that. Okay, so to differentiate yourself, you have to be completely unique and very, very entrepreneurial because you're a business. See, there's the wild tale that nobody's telling you. You are the business. That's it. Everything else is details. Make sense? All right. Moving on. Welcome to the new normal. What do you believe the current state of the music industry is for new artists trying to establish themselves, here's the key phrase, and make a living from music? Okay, so how much do you, raise your hand if you have a number in your head. Just put the number in your head. How much do you have to make to make a living? Raise your hand. Somebody give me an answer on that. How much money do you have to make to make a living at a craft? 100,000. 100,000? Okay, that's your number. Anybody got a different number than 100,000? Okay, it depends on the lifestyle you want to have. So if you can live on 20 grand and be happy, have at it, because there'll be years where that's going to be a good year for you. You know, if it takes you 100,000 to live happily, you might want to have two or three angles of how you're going to generate that, which is another part of this whole thing. But Dr. Fisher, the current state of the music industry is basically chaos as performers, songwriters, producers, music companies, and others scramble to find a viable economic model. The chaos, which is largely brought on by online digital revolution, has created an opportunity for more artists to have direct access to the market through various lines more artists will make a living from their music. There's good news. More people can sustain a career in the music industry. But the room at the huge star level, Taylor Swift, is getting smaller and smaller. We will see fewer super rich superstars. Okay? 